So they did that, and Andrew, they're sniffing around another corner, according to Nick Underhill. EJ Carey from the Colts, I've never heard of him. But yeah, cor- kind of getting a corner from the Colts, what could go wrong? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially one that plays zone coverage. Yeah, getting a corner <laughs> from the Colts. Let's, it, let's, went, it went so well last time. Let's do it all yeah. over again. Let's fit him into our man <laughs> system. See how that works. Jason David used to play for the Colts, in case you're not catching on. If yeah. he's Jason David 2.0, that would be bad. And his last name I mean, is Carey. My- I, I, I am excited if the Saints sign him. I feel like they're, his last name is Carey, C-A-R-R-I-E. And so there's this whole, they're all going to laugh at you. Like, there's a joke to be made there. I mean, so, we can, it's, it's we also can- <laughs> very similar to my name. It's very close to my name. You just put an L L O at the end of that, and it's uh, Carry L O. Yeah, and we're already there. Just three, le- three letters. Putting the carry and carry L O. That's right. If he, if they sign him, Dave, and he flops, yes. Do we need to pass a constitutional amendment that the Saints cannot sign a Colts cornerback ever again? I well, think that I, might be in order. Yes. What about Patrick order. Robinson was with the Colts, right? Before he came back. Oh yeah, that's right. But wow, but he was with the Chargers. He was with the Eagles. The, I think he was with the, the Eagles Char- when we, yeah. we snatched him up. That's but a he good went point. To the Chargers though, too, didn't he? You laughed and he at me, Andrew. Chargers, Colts, and then Eagles, and then back to the Saints. Wow. I think. Andrew, you laughed at me on Twitter. You mocked me. And no, I, I would never say kiss my crippled ass. Because they, you said that when I said they were probably going to keep Patrick Robinson, you said no way, and he's still on the team. So yeah. is, he, is, is my dream of him staying I, in play? I didn't say no way. I said I was told he was likely getting cut. My thought is that that could have been happening at a time where they were close to signing Richard Sherman, and it seems like that hasn't worked out. And so now they're like, we might be keeping him, you know? So anyway, if they cut Patrick Robinson at this point, like every day that goes by where they don't cut him, it kind of gets more and more screwed up to cut him, you know, because free agency period has passed and now he's not getting a fair shake at latching on with another team. So the longer they wait, uh, the less they're doing right by him. So I will say as time goes on, you know, of course, like if he doesn't make the team in training camp or whatever, then they'll cut him. But uh, as far as making cutting him for salary cap reasons, uh, I think every day, every hour that passes is more and more messed up that they would string him along. I, I think, I think it's looking more likely that he'll stay. I really believe Dave that Patrick Robinson, there's like a 30% chance that he's got like a random old guy, one last good season in him. And like Randall Gay they've paid him so much money and they've, they, they've stuck with him so long. Like, just ride it out for the last year of the contract, and let's see if we can hit the lottery. We bought the ticket. Ride the ride. That's all well, I'm saying. Well, it's like it's a, we got a 17 game season now. So, like, if you oh, can yeah. get five five good weeks out of an old dude, like you can't count on Patrick Robinson to give you a good season. But like, if you can ride him out for five games while you're waiting for someone to come back, or you're waiting for a rookie to develop, whatever. I we'll think that's it. fair enough. And I'll, and I'll say this. I have I like the second coming of Patrick Robinson way better than than the original Patrick Robinson. Thanks for watching the Saints Happy Hour. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, then find us wherever you get your podcast, and finally go to saintshappyhour.com and become a patron of the best Saints podcast on earth.